fireworks horse just gone out Ewood Park, folks, and it's the same old, same old. Another defeat for Rovers, and uh, perhaps, I know everyone was saying, or they have been saying in recent times that we're, it's all good to go, we're safe from relegation, but maybe, just maybe, we have to kind of look over our shoulder over the next few games. Um, one nil loss to Stoke, who obviously airtight defence, so that was always going to be a, a problem to to break break uh, break them open and score a goal. Um, but we never really looked like doing it. Um, Dak not in the starting lineup, not even in the squad. Uh, I'm not sure what that's all about because I didn't think he was injured, unless uh, there are some. Uh, stuff floating around in the old newspapers and all that kind of good stuff that uh, about his personal life and all that kind of good stuff so i don't know i don't know what that's all about but either way yeah yeah uh, despite having a few chances or limited chances um luna is here luna joins me live outside she's gonna do what blackburn rovers did for us today and that is take a poop she's gonna take a poop for us live on the camera uh, but yeah, Rovers uh, looked looked ragged, looked lost, looked clueless, and looked out of ideas. Very flat, very boring. Uh, there seemed to be 11 Jason Lowe's out there. So in fact, scrapped that 10 Jason Lowe's. The only highlight for me was was David Raya. Without him, it could have been a three nil. Uh, they had a penalty. Um, Charlie Mulgrew brought man down. I thought it was looked a bit dubious to be honest with you, but uh, brought the man down. And I think it was Bojan, ex Barcelona, AC Milan. Who else did he play for? Uh, Roma. I think, uh, stepped up and you thought, you know, put this in the back of the net and it is game over. There, there she goes. That's, that's Rovers' efforts right there, taking a poop. That's the best, that's the best highlight you're going to see in a Rovers jersey. Potentially she's wearing a Rovers jersey. Uh, I'll pick it up, I'll pick it up, don't worry. Uh, I, I do pick up the poops. So up stepped Bojan and uh, uh, yeah, took a shot down to the ground. Raya was there though, very good, very strong save. Uh, and uh, that kept us in it, uh, and that was towards the back end of the first half. So 1-0, um, you thought maybe that would give us a bit of a boost. And, and this, this is, I, I could go on a major, major rant here, but I'll save that for my detail review. But uh, the Rovers had a, a promo, a promo this week to, to fill, the fa fill the stadium, or at least a tier of the stadium, with young, uh, for young families and all that kind of st good stuff to generate uh, interest in the club, to maybe uh, to, to create new fans for the club moving forward. With this performance, they're not going to come back again. No matter how many, th you have to pay them next time to come into the club because that was an absolute dire performance. Some of the old ever presents. Um, you know, and, and, and we love them. We all love them. We all love Annie at Bennett. We all love Charlie Mulgrew. We all love who else is in there? Smallwood, um, even D DG to a point. Um, but uh, you know, they're getting they're getting old hat. They're getting old hat, and and maybe I think they. Um, it is hard. It is hard to to, let, to say go sometimes or, or let go of, of some familiar favourites. But we need to to breed, get some new new uh new quality into the club because these boys are two three years out of date um they were good in league one but you know to be honest with you uh i think we could have we could have played uh some of our youngsters in league in league one and still come out of it but anyway let's get back to the game because i i, I diverted there but yeah promo chance for this to to, to to create some new rovers fans but ultimately we were shocking but dire snore fest absolutely horrendous second half um, a little bit more urgency, but uh, we did have to lose, so we had to change Mulgrew. On comes Derek Williams, who was probably one of our most... Uh, he made a couple, of, at least one decent run, um, as did Daryl Lenehan. So our runs were coming from the guys, the centre-backs, for crying out loud. What is that all about? Um, but another chance, Stoke had another cracking chance. Ex-Dingle, six-finger banjo playing weirdo. Uh, Sam Vokes comes on the field. Storming header, absolute storming header, and David Raya with probably like a world class save. You know, you've got to wait till the highlights come out and check that bad boy. That's probably your best thing. His penalty save and the old, uh, the old Raya super duper save um, is probably the best you're going to get. Like, Luna's, Luna's pissed. I've got, to, I've, got to, I've got to go deal with that in a minute. She's going to be livid. She's going to be ripping this up. She'll be livid. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so 1 0, the final score. Um, but uh, wait till you see the detailed stats in the review later on. Uh, the shots on target for Rovers. Brereton came on. He had a chance. Side net in. There was very limited, limited stuff to get excited about. Um, and it's and, and the form, the form we're in right now is concerning. It is concerning. We just, I think, right now we're hoping the likes of Rotherham, uh, who else is down there? Bolton and Ipswich continue to lose. But I think Ipswich might have won today. 
Rotherham one today. So they're gaining on us. And just around, around the corner, we've got Derby County, who are they're firing on all cylinders. So it's not going to be pretty the next few days uh, for Rovers. Um, I, expected, I expected something from today. I, I'm honest with you. I expected we could get a point, probably a nil-nil. Um, but yeah, we, we, we failed. We failed miserably. And I think if this was at the start of the season, nine defeats out of 11, you know, Mowbray would be gone. Well, in, in, in another club, probably he would be sacked by now because, you know, the situation is, is dire. You know, nine, nine losses and out of 11, that's pretty shocking stuff. Maybe give him to the end of the season and see what his transfer activity can bring. Maybe he can bring four or five, six quality players in to, to give us a boost. But right here, right now, it is frustrating times. And I, I love Mowbray as well. He did wonders for us getting us back at the first attempt. Unlucky not to keep us in the championship in the first attempt as well. Um, but... Yeah, it's uh, it's one of them, you know. It's it's like uh, you know, family. You got you got to keep your family nice and happy and sweet and all that kind of good stuff. But there's a, comes a point where they take advantage of you. I think we're getting taken advantage, boys and girls at Rovers. Anyway, that's a Stoke. You know, I think they this season. There's just a, a consolidation season. Uh, next season they'll be up there. They've got the they've got the the basics sorted, and that is clean, keeping a clean sheet. Uh, they'll need to score a few more goals, though, to get themselves up there. Trim your age budget, that's all I can say. Anyhow, I'm going to bounce out of here. I'm going to be doing a detailed review a little bit later on. Hopefully, we get some uh, fan feedback. Luna is going round, running, run, running rings around me. She she's must be Stoke, running rings around Rover's defence. Anyway, until I see you again, uh, which will be a little bit later on, for a detailed review, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. Luna!